Hey, what's going on, Eric? Hoping you had a good uh, holiday. Uh, get into week two of training. Uh, felt a lot better than week one. Uh, this week, oh, my knee pain was starting to go away. I was starting to experience a little bit of knee pain towards the end of the week last week and a couple weeks before that, but it's been going down, and today I have absolutely, or this week I've had absolutely no knee pain when squatting or just walking around, so uh, that's a plus. But getting to my squats on this day, um, I hit 265 for my 3 by 10 out of 5. Um, and they felt pretty good. Uh, not much really to say. Um, yeah, I just I decided to drop the weight down to 265, even though I could prob- probably stuck with 275, which that's what I hit this week. But uh, I just wanted to give myself a little bit of room to to grow these last two weeks. Uh, and then on my last set felt pretty good uh, it felt good to to be able to squat and not worry about my knee pain being an issue and just that these are, are fatiguing just because they're such a 10 uh, but yeah they, they felt pretty good uh, this week or last week And after that, moved on to my bench. These, on the first set, they were really fast. I was barely pausing. Um, still wasn't as tight. Elbows were still kind of sinking on this this set. Uh, here, I think it's a little bit better. On my third set, there I was loose. Um, yeah, this was before the check-in, and I had noticed it. But I still wasn't staying as tight, even though I noticed that my elbows were sinking and I would pause it on my chest. But since then, since the, the check-in uh, and towards the end of this that week, uh, my reps were looking a lot better. I was feeling a lot better with how my elbows um, were staying tight and they weren't sinking in. Um, my upper back was staying really tight. Uh, and this week so far, too, has been really good. And then moving on to day two, on my two second pauses, I went with 225 uh, out of six. Um, these ones were, pauses were a little bit better than last week. I wanted to make it a lot better than last week because they, the previous week, the pauses weren't as long, but these ones I'm a little bit happier with uh, my elbows here slightly dip in a little bit that rep was too fast but yeah the, this was before then too uh, before the check in uh, this set was pretty good just the pauses But uh, overall, you know, bench feels really good. My 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 confidence benching is, is a lot better now. Um, you know, I'm confident to hit. You know, anything in the 200s of the 225 and above, I uh, pause it and be able to do it for multiple reps paused. Uh, so, I mean, that's feeling really good. Uh, and then my stiff legs try to get back positioning a little bit better than the previous week uh, again I did here I did it with a belt but this week um, since it was after this was before my check-in um, and during my check-in you said to maybe even try them doing these beltless this week I did them beltless 
and next week I'll do them again beltless. Um, and then the way I recorded it is kind of hard to tell my back angle. Uh, from here it looks pretty good. Um, maybe the bar could have been a little bit closer. And I also put a wrist wrap around my elbow because out of nowhere I started to have a, a, a pain in my elbow for some reason. Um, and thankfully it went away and I haven't had any any pain in my elbow. But it was just weird because it just came out of nowhere. Um, after my first or second set doing doing these. Yeah, so it was a little weird, but um, I think these are a little bit better. It's just hard to tell. This week I made sure to, to record directly um, beside me. And then on this day, because I was feeling no pain at all, even just squatting bare knee, um, I should have asked first, but I squatted instead of uh, doing my bench day three, I did day four on day three. Um, just because my knee was feeling really good. And since the previous week, my, my squat felt like crap and I was still having a little bit of knee pain. I decided to go for it because, you know, I want to make the, the most out of it. And I wasn't sure if it was just like a fluke uh, that I was just having a good day where my knee wasn't hurting. Um, so I wanted to take advantage. But thankfully, it wasn't a fluke and and my knee is feeling really good. Uh, and I kind of found it was it was good for me mentally, too, to kind of have a break uh, from, you know, all the benching to kind of have that that squat in between. Uh, just to kind of give me a little bit more to, to look forward to and um, kind of switch it up just a little bit. Um, but what you saw was 365 for my top set of four at a six. Uh, they move kind of slow. I tried to uh, descend a little bit faster like I, I'm used to doing uh, to get a little bit of more of a bounce out of the hole. Um, and it kind of worked a little bit. Um, and they felt really good. Um, uh, and then for my pause squats, I just went up to 315. Previous week, I did 308 with the kilo plates. And here, I try to pause a little bit longer. Some reps aren't as long as others. Um, this week, most likely, I'll just keep the same weight and just really exaggerate the pause a little bit more. Uh, but these felt pretty good. And then deadlifts, uh, to be honest, uh, felt a little weird. They felt off this day. Um, I don't know if it was just the squats that kind of banged up my lower back. <coughs> but, um, yeah, these just felt off. I got a little frustrated uh, in between sets because they, were, they just weren't feeling that great. Uh, you know, and it's only 315 and... For it to be feeling the way it was, it was a little frustrating, to say the least. But, you know, looking at the video, they don't look too bad. Uh, still could have maybe sat back just a little bit more. Because uh, when you see from the from the side angle, I'm still... My shoulders are a little bit still over the bar. Um, but I tried to, to fix it in between sets. So here's the second set. So I, I noticed too, I when I f initiate the pull and when I get in position for the pause, I kind of pull back a little bit. Um, so I'll end up in a little bit of a different position, like more, I'll be in a more leaning back position, if that makes sense. So I'll sit back a little bit more than when I initiated the lift. So I won't stay in a constant position. Um, don't know if that's right, but I just noticed that um, throughout my sets that my, my body position would change as I was pausing it. And then my third set. They felt... They they move really good or smooth, like they should. They just felt really crappy this day after 
after squats, but they move pretty good. Just positioning still. Um, yeah, my shoulders over the bar. In my last set, I put on straps because um, I did, I believe, two reps with a hook grip, and it opened up my thumb under my nail. So I put on some straps just because it was bothering me a lot. Um, my thumb. So I just put these on to help a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's move like the other ones they they all all the sets look pretty pretty similar and they all felt pretty you know decent here yeah, I try to not sit down as much uh, before pulling just so I wouldn't over dip like you were saying before. And then here was my day three, or supposed to be day three bench. And here, uh, I worked on keeping my elbows a lot tighter and my upper back and my lats a lot tighter. And I was really happy. From this bench session on, I I've really been working on it and I've been really happy with, with how they're looking. Uh, here again, I believe this is my last set. With two fifteen or two two yeah two fifteen, and they felt pretty good. And then on to day three, my last day or day five, last day top set of three, I hit two forty eight. And here even too, my elbow still stayed tight. There the pause was a little bit quick. Uh, so just the pause was a little bit quick but they still felt pretty good overall and this was my first set of the 4x4 with 220 and these felt pretty good too um elbow I'm re i was really happy with uh the changes i made after the the check-in last week with my bench and it, it's been feeling pretty good uh this week so far as well it's been feeling pretty good so i'm happy with that